And what's this? Raiders from Insegal? Wait a minute. Insegal is held by one of my Jewish vassals. How can he be raiding? That doesn't make sense. Of... Oh, it's not him. Quishtli. Who's Quishtli? Is he someone in your court? Do you have a courtier named Quishtli? Yeah, you're Marshal. So... I imagine he's probably a commander. No? How is this raiding army exist? I really hope it doesn't cause me any trouble when I try to, uh, when I start besieging down Catanize. Oh, just barely three ticks. Just barely more than three ticks, that is. So! Ah, shit. I don't actually really have very much to talk about. Whoa! Svithiod, you're pretty big! Well, there goes that castle. So, one more castle, and then I will be fully prepared. Oh, you know what? This isn't my siege. Oh, wait! Nope! Now it is. This Jewish raider, vassal, is uh, now leaving and going back to the Hebrides. And I get his progress. He was actually being a very good vassal. It almost makes me feel bad for calling him a vassal. Almost. But I like calling my vassals vassals too much. <sighs> That's a good vasshole. That's a good vasshole. And I really need to uh, dismiss these mercs. Uh, but I'll wait until this holding falls. Because they are being invaluable to me right now. Yeah. So who wants to take a look at the world? Oh dear god, what the hell is happening to Latvia? No, I, I want... Whoa, 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 whoa! Did I just see that my son's wife died? Maddie's dead! I... I have no words! I... I... Literally, I, I have no idea how to respond to something like that! I mean, literally, both Alexander and Victor had one son, and then their wife dies! I mean... It's too coincidental. I mean, I'm still fairly certain it is a coincidence. Because 
I highly doubt there could possibly be any programming in the, uh, in the game to actually account for something like that happening. I mean, this, this is CK2. Everything is randomized. I don't... So... The next easiest place that I could besiege is in Buchen. Do I get Ticking War score? I don't think I do. No, they are not. Uh, I'm gonna need to go for a hundred percent with this stupid little twerp, aren't I? Well, there go the mercs. They're too costly, had to let them go. Sorry about that. Oh dear fucking god, how long have I been having these armies raised? Okay, change of plans. We're not going back to the siege right away. We're gonna wait till we get into our own territory. And then... Oh! Shit. What's happening? Whew. We're going to... Drop the levies. We're gonna raise personal, and I did not have. I was. I did not take that into account. But I think we can also raise Victor's troops as allied soldiers. Fuck. I really should have more environmental awareness in this game. But. We're gonna have a bunch of reinforcements just piling onto this army. So I think we're probably going to wo Well, maybe not. We are being flanked pretty hard. Well, can I raise any more troops like, say... Vasshole levies? Well, not from there, apparently. Jesus. Somebody give me a fucking army. What about you? No? Uh. Funny, I actually got soldiers from the, uh... Kalpishki of Dublin. That rarely happens. But anyways, we sort of still need more reinforcements. This army just is not going my way. Uh, reinforcements can't get there quick enough, though. Oh, wait! Hey, does this guy have the horrendously negative opinion from me using his troops too much? What about this one? No? Either of these two? No? And? No. So I guess I will keep those troops. After all, I do need some replacement for the soldiers who were killed by those Vikings. That I really should have had more situal... situational awareness about. Oh! She's not married. I'm not married. I don't see anything wrong with that arrangement. And having a mistress can allow me to increase 
It's good to be the Wake Alpishki. To increase the size of my house without increasing the amount of legal errors. It's all really clever. I can assure you. Alsis Garther of Austisland. I'm being raided again, but he's not sieging down the holding. So, I don't really care. Really? You want to siege down Moray? No, 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 go, go to Buchan. No, I don't think you're going to be successful in sieging down Moray. But, you know, since you seem adamant about it, go ahead. Go to Moray. Try to siege it down. I dare you. Ooh, this is funny. You can't get away. Why are the Swedes attacking? That is not okay. Oh, no, stop, 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 stop! I can take back Buchan once he leaves. Let's see. Catanize was the next easiest to siege down. <gasps> My faithful hunting dog Satan is always around and always happy to see me. It is good to have such a faithful friend. If only people were as trustworthy. And he made me lose stress! That's amazing! That, you are such a good boy, Satan! Who's a good boy? You are, yes you are, yes you are! You're, you're a very good boy, Satan! That's a good boy! That's a very good Satan! Good Satan! Ah... Honestly... Oh, you're kidding me. Huh. Well... Well, you know what? We'll... I guess we'll just have to figure something out next time. On account of I am out of time. And the uh, the Swedes actually joined the war. They're not raiders. Meaning I actually need to get my mercs back. I mean, that many should be enough to actually stop them. So, let's just group everyone up in Lothian, the full strength of the Jewish Aztec army 
plus our Irish mercenary allies. In hindsight, I probably shouldn't have dismissed them before. But that's besides the point. Because we need to crush the Swedes. But I'm out of time, so we'll have to do that next week. Until next time, I am Lord Ravenwark. Aside from the splitting headache, this has been great, and I will see you all later. Bye!